Hello, everybody. We are here at Tokyo Station with an entry ticket to just to go see the Shinkansen. And let's do that right now. And we're going to talk about the oversized luggage situation for riding the Shinkansen trains. You need to you need to get a reservation in order to do that. So let's go to the platform, take a look at the Shinkansen, and talk a little bit about this. Which one is leaving? Oh, this one's leaving in eight minutes. Uh, the Hayabusa platform 21. Joining me on this live stream is Leo. <laughs> All day, he's been wanting to say Shinkansen, Shinkansen. So I thought we would come here to Tokyo Station just to say hi and uh, check out the, the situation because the biggest question I'm getting from everybody is what do I do with the oversized luggage? The answer is if it's over 250 centimeters in total dimension, which is quite large, you need a seat reservation for oversized luggage. All right, here we go. Shinkansen. 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 Oh, this is exciting. Shinkansen. All right, these people are getting on the Shinkansen train. Let me show you what I mean. So if you get on the Shinkansen and you have a luggage that's too big, you will have a problem because it doesn't go in the overhead luggage department. Compartment. So you need to store it behind the seats. Because of the influx of tourists, they've changed the policy where you need to make a reservation for a seat with oversized luggage. In order to do that, you can do it at the vending machines if you have a JR Rail Pass, or you can do that online, apparently. You can do it online, and they'll, you'll be able to make that reservation from abroad for... Well, they put... Well, they put um, LED panels inside the platform. How cool is that? That's new, Leo. All right, I'm so excited we're going to see this train go. Let's go to the front. <laughs> all, he's, all he's been wanting to do is Shinkansen, Shinkansen. All right, let me show you inside here. So in order to get the, the places that are for seat reservations on the train here, right behind here, and then right here. So in order to get these seats, now the overhead luggage is this big, so there's not a lot of space for you to put, I guess, medium to small size luggage. Big stuff needs a reservation. There's just too much of it these days. Um, there's the space, so you can put it behind the back of the last seat. Shinkansen! Did you see that? Did you see that, Leo? That's awesome! Oh, look, Yamanote line! Train! There it goes! Oh, this is awesome! All right, there's nobody around here. So, in order for you to get an oversized uh, ticket, you can do it at the vending machines. I went in and asked JR this question specifically because I can't understand it either. It's a rule change that happened, uh, I don't know, I guess in the last year or so, but tourists weren't here, so it wasn't something that was used. Because of the limited capacity, especially on some trains, in particular the Tokaido Shinkansen because of the amount of passengers and the uh, uh, Yamagata Shinkansen because it's just a little bit smaller, I'm not sure about the Tohoku Shinkansen, but it requires to have an oversized seat reservation. How much does this cost? It's free! So they're not trying to nickel and dime you. They're literally trying to make sure they're literally that everybody has a space for this and there's no issues because the bag's going to be pretty big. Now the Tokaido Shinkansen... Oh, there's a train going! Leo, there it goes! There it goes. Bye bye train. We're going to see the Komachi Shinkansen take off in a second here. That's really great that they don't charge for the oversized luggage. They literally just want to make sure that you have enough space for it. Now, with that said, it is possible 
if you're a small person to fit a large luggage uh, by your knees, but they discourage that because you can't get out in time. It creates a lot of problems, um, especially at stations. And if you're if you're trying to get off in a hurry, you, you, you can't do it with an oversized luggage. They want to try to keep it at the door for you. But I've seen tourists that have their oversized luggage by their knees inside there. But if you have an aisle seat, it can be quite an issue. It could be an issue, and if you have a window seat and someone's sitting in, in uh, you have an aisle seat, someone's sitting in the window and you have oversized luggage, that's an issue for them to get out. Look how beautiful the Akita Shinkansen is. This train's gonna be departing in about, about five minutes. Ah, oh, there it is, yeah, another train. Maybe we'll see Dr. Yellow. I'll put a picture on Instagram of Leo sitting in what it looks like for oversized luggage. Again, it's 250 uh, centimeters for total dimension for your luggage. That's how you would check. So length, width, and height, check that out. And if it's over 250 centimeters, then you need to check that in for oversized luggage. And JR staff is checking this now. All right, Leo, get ready. The train's going. The train's going. That's the Shikaten behind us. That's the Hokuriku Shikaten. Shikaten! Here comes the Hokuriku Shikaten from Kanazawa. We should go there next, Leo. Mama's mama's away for the day, so it's just the boys today. I see Jason's here. How you doing, buddy? Wow, there goes the Yamanote line. I think it's going faster than the Shinkansen right now. Do you guys have any questions about oversized luggage? Mark Benjamin writes in here, want to visit Mount Fuji, view side, but there's three of us. Can I reserve and turn the other seat around? No, you cannot. Um, I think that there might be a, I think that's something you should ask when you make the reservation here in Japan. But they're discouraging, they're discouraging uh, people from turning the trains around at the current moment. You used to be able to do that. Just ask when you get here, but I'm not sure if, you, if, if that's a possibility. You'll be going in reverse. The best is to sit coming from Osaka to Tokyo and you'll be able to see the Shinkansen on the left side. Sorry, sorry Mount Fuji on the left side. <laughs> Look at the, everyone's getting pictures. Leo, you have that hat. That's what I'm doing. I brought Leo here with me. The same thing as this father. <laughs> We're down on the ground here. All right, Leo, let's watch it. Bye-bye. Hey, Josh, thanks, buddy. Bye-bye, Shinkansen! Leo, bye-bye! Leo, bye-bye! Bye-bye, everybody! Bye-bye, Shinkansen! Bye-bye! Ah, bye-bye! Ah, no! There's the Toki Green! Leo's waving! Can you see the people? It's going too fast, Leo. You can't see them anymore. Wow, there it goes. That was so much fun. Did you say bye bye? Bye bye. <laughs> all right, we can it's pretty cool. You see all the all the fathers that bring their sons to the Shinkansen platform. This is a thing. Um, the ticket to get in is 140 yen. You can get it from the ticket. Ticket. You don't actually need a JR Rail Pass to come and see the Shinkansen, which is really cool. Uh, uh, Leo's under one, under two years old. He's under. He's like one, so he doesn't count. So it's free. And I see Ellis is here. How you doing, buddy? Leo, let's look at the Shinkansen. Here's the Hokuriku Shinkansen, and it's leaving soon. <laughs> he said Shinkansen. He wants to go and run on the Shinkansen. 
Leo, Mama's not here. She won't be happy if we go to Kanazawa without her. <laughs> so just to reiterate for those that are joining, this is the live stream. If your luggage is over 250 centimeters in total, height, width, length, and, it's, and it's, uh, it has to be quite big, you need to check it in for oversized luggage. In order to do that, you need a special ticket, a reservation. It's free, especially if you have a JR Rail Pass. Nothing is, there's no, I don't think you have to pay for seat reservations. Whoa, the Grand Class. Wow, the Grand Class, Leo. Wow, can you see inside there? Those are some nice seats. Leo, look at the Grand Class. Wow, that's good living. Ah, on this side. Question, what about the Shinkansen? Is this, it takes you around Japan? Yeah, this is the Shinkansen. <laughs> is that Gil? Third stream in a few days. How cool to catch you again. Welcome, Gil. All right, Hokuriko Shinkansen's on the way. This is so exciting. Look, she wants to see the Shinkansen go. Look at all the kids here. Wow. All right, bye-bye. All right, this is going to Kanazawa, everybody, via Niigata. It's the no, actually, this is just going to Niigata. This is the, is it the Joetsu? No, it's a Toki Shinkansen, but it has the same colors as the Hokuriku Shinkansen. Jump! All right, bye bye, Leo. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. He's waving. <laughs> Here he goes, Leo. Bye bye. See you! Bye bye! Yeah, no more E4 Max. That's that's a, a sad loss, Chris. You're right. It's gone, buddy! Guess what? There's another one! Right over here. <laughs> Leo, Ellis says hi. Oh, there it is. I see Tokiwa green. <laughs> yeah, there is one, Leo. One last Shinkansen. He's so excited. This is so much fun. Chikatsen! Hey, Danny's here! Danny will be here in February! Wow, look at that beautiful nose on her! Bye bye, Shinkansen! <coughs> wow! Okay, let's sit here, Leo. Uh, okay, say bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, Shinkansen. Bye bye, passengers. Bye bye, nice lady with bento. <laughs> She's just waving at everybody now. Back in the clay, thank you. 160 to 250 centimeters is oversized. All right, thanks, thanks for clarifying that. Over 250 centimeters is disallowed. All right. The guy was trying to speak to me in, in uh, English and I responded in Japanese, so we got uh, that. I'm glad you cleared that up. So, oh, here comes another Shinkansen. Oh! 
So 250 centimeters is considered oversized. So 160 to 250 is safe. After that, um, I guess you can't bring it onto the train. So I would highly recommend don't pack, don't bring an oversized suitcase to Japan. 20 years ago when I was traveling, nobody ever did that. This is like a new phenomenon. If you have that much stuff, then I think you're not a traveler. <laughs> you're, you can buy everything here. You can also do the laundry in Japan. I highly recommend bringing medium-sized suitcases or a day pack, fill that up, and a medium-sized suitcase, and you can put some stuff in there, like your tripod, because you can't check that onto the airplane, or, or you can't uh, carry it on, and that's it. Maybe a, a medium-large size, but nothing oversized. Don't do it, especially if you're traveling train. It's just so much less fun. Unless, what was that, a headbutt? Unless you have a, a headquarters, or you have a place. Well, you have a place. No, stop it, Leo. You have a place where where you can have a central headquarters in Tokyo, and then if you do, then you can leave your oversized baggage there and use it as like a like a like a headquarters. No, I'm, I'm gonna get in trouble. Oh my God, it's like a, a face scratch, like Piranha from Matt Mania. Wow, dude, what? No mercy, show mercy. Like Cobra Kai. So thanks for clarifying that. Uh, I'll put a picture on Instagram about this as well, so you can take a look at that, and on our Discord server. If you have questions about oversized luggage, please hit up our Discord server. We have travelers that are here in Japan right now that can answer your question. And that's always the best resource. Get it straight from the source that's here in Japan right now. Oh, this one's going to Morioka. Oh, look, they're cleaning the trains right now. So you can see everybody seems to have medium to small size luggage. That right there that they have, the silver bag is safe. So that's like medium sized right there. So that's okay to have that. But anything larger than that, your trip just becomes a headache here in Japan. Yeah, 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 yeah. WRX Turbo is in the house. Your attention, please. The Yamabiko 5-9 for Morioka. All right, Leo, this is the last Shikatsu, and then we got to go home. You want to say bye-bye? Thank you. Oh, let's go to the front. Okay, let's go to the front. Okay, yush. We can go to the front of the train. The oversized bag tickets are available on the internet site, apparently. And you can also get them on the ven in the vending machines and make a seat reservation, which is free for JR Rail Passes. If you're traveling off, a JR Rail, off of a JR Rail Pass, you could still get a uh, oversized luggage seat. Yosh! Wait, Leo, you're heavy! Hey, Jeff Kennedy's here! Our neighbor across the Delaware River. Awesome. <laughs>
All right, we're almost at the end here. Leo, we could say bye-bye to the train again. Yosh. You are heavy. Oh my gosh, Leo, you're so heavy. Let's go to the front. Oh, there's already people there. Last chance to see the Shinkansen. So she's putting my scarf. Ah, that's it. Say bye bye, Leo. Bye bye. He's mesmerized with the Shinkansen. Say bye bye. Bye bye. ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、
It's just they want to make sure that there's enough space for everybody to get on and off the trains because that was an issue in 2019. People couldn't, um, businessmen couldn't get off of the trains in time and some people missed their station because the luggages were just too big. It took too long. There were issues. I can't, I, I can't confirm that, but there were issues, all right? And uh, the result was this new policy, which I think is not too bad. Most Japanese do not travel with bags that big. They don't do it. But if you've got a family, if you've got skis, I mean, I can understand why. What you can do is send it by Takubin, which is a, um, a service. You can just take it to the convenience store or even hotel lobbies do this. You can send your bags to the next destination and usually arrive in one or two days. Um, it's very quick. You can specify the date of arrival, which is pretty awesome. So uh, keep that in mind. You can use the Takibin service. You just put a tag on it, take it to the convenience store, the hotel lobby, and it'll send it to your next destination. So if you send the bag the night, uh, the day before, it might be there by the time you arrive at the next destination. We do this at the airport. There's a delivery service. So if you have oversized luggage, you don't have to ride on the train. You can have it delivered to your hotel, either like the next morning or something. It usually works out pretty good. And anyways, you want to get some sleep. All right, everybody. Ugh. Let's say goodbye, Leo. We're going to lunch now. Thanks for joining us on this live stream. <laughs> we'll see you again. I wanted to do a tea live stream uh, for the main channel episode. If you haven't seen that, please go check it out. Uh, it's how green tea is made in Japan, and I, I put a lot of love into that video. I'm, I'm sure you're going to learn a thing or two uh, about Japan through how the tea is made. Bye, Leo. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. I did that. Bye, everybody. Okay,